Swing full week on yes 30 lower highs and low higher lows are seen and a phase of consolidation is seen now what can be expected next week whether it is going to breach the bullish you can see consolidation zone or whether it is going to breach on the downside which position we should take in order to profit we will see with the help of charts and indicators missing on to subscribers missing on the profits as i do share my daily updates on dow jones twice a day one with the asia session next with the us cash and the key strategy and the key levels to watch out for trading as per the levels definitely you can profit so do not miss to watch those on the daily basis let's start first let's have a look at the daily charts here and on the daily charts it is shown that it is trading sideways since this and since last three weeks you can see it is trading within this zone that is 30,500 to almost 28,500 the this is second time we have seen it going close to towards 28,500 600 zone so this is the zone of 2000 points in which Dow Jones is trying to trade and it is yet not decisive it is yet not decided that which direction it is trying to take now definitely see this 30,400, 500 definitely a stronger wall for Dow Jones and it has got the pushback again on the downside. So any point of time, if you see it trading above 30,500, certainly you can expect that it is trying to reverse and then 31,000, the next milestone beyond that more bullishness will be seen at the same time. One must not forget that it is trying to trade sideways and hence 28,500 is equally important. Breaking below 28,500, this is going to be a a strong bearish move can be seen now look at the last two candles just focus on the last two candles you'll find 28600 and 30400 levels 30400 to 28600 almost it makes to close to 1800 points and it has closed the week precisely at the pivot point now if you see it trading below 29500 next week certainly it is it will try to retest again this zone at 29200 and 29000 and breaking below which it is going to be another round of bearishness see if you consider this it is traded at the equilibrium close to the pivot point yes if it breaks below 29500 certainly more bearishness will be seen and this time it can try to trade with a little drop so yes this 2000 points between 28500 to 30,500 we have to be extra conscious as it is trying to just trade sideways in between this now look at the four hour charts on the four hour charts you will find a strong bullish candle and then retracement and see the bearishness there a uh, couple of red candles with diminishing body size and the previous candle it failed to breach past 29,600 now 29,600 is also going to be important see 29600 more candles getting the resistance there on the upside now on the downside this is going to be the support below that we can see 29400 and 200 zone this is the zone you need to watch out for any drop below this certainly more bearishness will be seen so 28 29600 29500 29400 and 29200 these are the key levels you should watch out for below 29200 certainly more bearishness will be seen and then you can expect it to trade with little more pain taking it below 29k again 28600 28500 levels can be expected so this is what you need to look at now look at the weekly charts coming to the weekly charts out there you can find out three to four candles trading just in between this zone and you can find out see these three candles almost trading at the same level set 28600 28500 these levels certainly are going to be important for us 530 and if us 30 breaches this it will call for the bears out now just focus on these two candles diminishing body size and higher lows lower highs so yes if you see it trading below first of all we have to take a short entry then you have to ensure that 29 500 400 200 levels definitely should be a good support below that you can expect that we are looking forward to further downward move and this time trading below 28 600 you can expect that this is going to be a strong bearish momentum which it may try to continue with now look at this here can you see this zone in October 21 precisely a year back it was trading at the same levels and see it has again come back to the same levels in October 22 and now look at this year 28,000 then 26,000 and 29,000 so this zone is in a zone of consolidation 26,000 to 29,000 and again 
I will expect it to come back to this zone. It has already tried to breach this, but it is trading above this zone. So possibly it may move or shift downwards and continue to trade sideways in between this level before it tries to decide its next direction or next move. Hence, you have to be cautious. It is right now trying to take a swing in between 28.5 to 30.5, which can further lower, which can shift further on the downside. And then we can for it to consolidate here at 27, 29k somewhere in between. So uh, let's hope for it to break out either which way it is trying to break. And now let's have a look at the monthly candle. Now on the monthly charts, see last time I told you, see the candle size here, the wick and the body size, then a wick and then a stronger body. This time it opened below this. See the candle has opened below the previous close here and then it has tried to move bullish. So yes, don't think that the drop is yet over still half of the month has gone past by and next next half if it continues to trade bearish you can expect that the third red candle cannot be denied see this is the first red candle after this greener candle uh push back from the on the upside and then this is going to be a possible third red candle which can be seen it cannot be denied Remember this fact, yes, 28,000 earned 26,000. See, it is also the zone of consolidation in which it may try to come back. Yes, there could be swings in between this zone and before it tries to take a direction. Don't think that this is the drop is yet over. It can further go down if it breaches this zone. It can, it has the potential for it to continue with this bearish momentum for a little while. Be cautious there. Now, also look at the now on the monthly charts you should see, see this was the phase of, see this was the rally, then a phase of consolidation way back in 2015-2016 zone, 2016 uh, year and you will find that it was consolidated here at around 18,000-19,000, then a rally, a phase of consolidation and then this drop a sharp drop and precisely look at the price action, it has come back to the levels at 18,000 level which was the previous consolidation zone here and hence one thing is proven that possibly every rally or every move has to have a reverse or you can say it must try to achieve the level once before it continues in the bullish direction. Now what does it suggest? It suggests that this zone is almost inevitable and look at the phases of consolidation for months between 2018 to 2020 it was trading in this direction you can find out the highs and lows at 30,000 and 24, 24 and 22 levels so almost this is the zone where it is consolidation consolidated for long and the pivot at around 24 to 26 so this zone is previous uh, of importance to us first this zone at 26 20 and then here at 24 26 so there is still a possibility for it to continue with the downward momentum for a little while now we have seen the charts let's have a look with the help of indicators what are the indicators are trying to show you and if you look the the indicators should be in sync with the observation what we are making on the charts out there now look at the four hour charts on the indicators part you will find that it is trading with the support at 200 4-hour chart, these are 4-hour charts and on 4H, it is getting the support, maximum support at 29,600, 29,500. So certainly, trading below 29,500 will call for the more bearishness and then you can expect 29,400, 29,200 and below that it is, it may try to show you further drops. So hence, you have to be cautious out there of this move. The direction movement not indicative of anything, stock I stick vertically falling there into oversold zone directly. And if you look at the MACD, see MACD is in green, it is trying to converge crossover, it can try to come back again into the sell zone. Be careful, RSI trading comfortable in the median there. Now look at the daily chart, the most important one. See there is a crossover between the 20 and 50 period moving average and the 50 period moving average is now way below the 100 period average. It is divergent, it indicates bearishness at the same time. Now look at the 20 period moving average, also this is situated at around 29,500 and hence this level becomes very important for next week 29,500 if it breach, 
breaks certainly you can expect further more drop and hence first resistance at 29600 you can sell there expect 29500 to provide major support 29400 the next support if these three are taken you can certainly expect that it is trying to trade bearish and we can see it trading below 29000 again so this is one observation at the same time 28500 definitely a very strong support at the it, this is also the bottom of the bollinger bands there now look at the directional movement on the daily chart this is crossed over for a bullish move I'll wait for it to again cross over for a sell at else it can try to show you a little rise. Look at the stochastic. This is also trying to come back to the comfortable levels and possibly a reversal from here cannot be denied. The MACD on US 30 is still trading in green, is still trading with a divergence. Wait for it to cross over for a sell. RSI looking downwards there indicating little more bearishness. Now look at the uh, weekly charts. So see. First thing is the 2800 period moving average crossover, then this 150 period moving average crossover. Now, this time the 50 period moving average is trying to cross over below the 100 period, indicating the near term bearishness. And this will call that for last one year it is definitely traded bearish, that what we have seen, and now it is trying to enter into sell zone for a little while. Yes, this may bring little more bearishness and if you see this, it is traded at the bottom of the Bollinger Bands. It has got the support from the bottom of the Bollinger Bands at 28, 500, 600 zone. Possibly breaching this, it may try to breach this once, expand the width of the Bollinger Bands and trade along with little bearishness. Now, look at the directional movement again. It is trying to trade bearish. It is still in the sell side. The stochastic trading oversold and for the first time, it is trying to converge after a couple of weeks. Possibly, it also indicates that the bullish move cannot be denied, which may try to bring it further or bring it to the next high of the this retracement, which is situated at around 32,000 levels. So, there is a possibility which cannot be denied. It has to come out of the 28,500, 30,500 zone. Now, look at the MACD. This is still trading bearish. It is still diverging. See the height there parallel indicating that it can continue with the bearish momentum for a little while. The RSI at bottom trying to rise a little, trying to come back to the comfortable zone. Look at the monthly charts trading below the 20 and 50 period moving average. The next destination which it may try to achieve is far away at 25,000 levels. The directional movement, divergent and bearish. And if you look at the stochastic, this is entering into oversold zone after trading for months above on the overbought zone. You can see for US 30, this was the time way back in 2009 financial crisis when it has seen such levels and again in 13 years we are looking at the same levels possibility for it to sustain the bearish momentum exists as we can see the recovery here was sharp and strong. This time this may not be the case and it is traded in overbought levels for months, for ages, for 15 years we have seen this. Now this time this may not be the case and we are looking forward for a bearish case where it can sustain the oversold zone but let's have a look and be wait, wait watchful now look at the magdi this is divergent this is bearish this is looking downward this is still trading above zero level the possibility for it to enter into the bearishness is strong it may fall back below sub zero levels and hence more bearishness cannot be denied and this is happening after 2011 when uh, towards the financial crisis it was trading oversold and it has recovered strongly since then it has traded with the divergence cannot be denied that it can trade with the divergence on the downside it can achieve the bottom which gives you a, a horrible picture of markets yes it is possible that it can achieve those levels now look at the RSI on the monthly charts it's still way more level way more on the downside for it to achieve see this was the first last time in 2009 financial crisis when it has seen the oversold zone on the monthly charts as US 30 has traded always above the overbought levels and hence it the probability for it to achieve this for the second time on the downside cannot be denied attaining the months of bearishness yes it can try to achieve those levels hence you have to be careful for in the long term that is for next few months you have to be cautious yes the bearishness is not yet over the retracement cannot be denied but overall it is bearish now we have seen the charts and indicators let me give you the trading levels and strategy for next 
First, let's talk about where to buy where and which position you should take in order to profit if it tries to move on the upside. And before I give you the levels, yes, if you want to learn the art of trading profitably, taking right entries and right exits at the right time, you can join my mentorship by the 16th by the start on 7th of November. Be a part of it. Do not miss the sessions. Definitely, the strategy start will help you become a profitable and proficient trader. At the same time, you can be part of my signals group where just as per trading as per my signals, you can definitely profit. Reach out to me for more details on both my telegram and email ID. The mentioned in the channel and video description. Also, you can be part of my pattern group where just contributing a little, contributing mini skill, you can support my effort here on YouTube. So, be a pattern and support the effort. Now, where to buy? See, yes. If you see US 30 trading about 29,840 levels, so there is almost 200 points from here. So let's find out the yes, you can take an entry at 29,700, but then expect 29,800 or rather I will say the nearest resistance at 29,780 and 840. These are the two, two numbers which you should be cautious of and then towards 30,000. If it trades above 30,000, certainly more bullishness will be expected. But till 30,000, be cautious. You cannot term, as, term it as bullish. It can continue with the drop. This should be considered as a minor retracement. Beyond 30,000, certainly it can try to fly for 30,200, 30,400 and 30,500. Trading above this, you can expect 30,650. And yes, if this zone is broken, that is 30,400 to 650. This is the next strong zone and the next stronger resistance zone. Beyond this, it will fly for 31,000 levels. And then beyond that, it is going to go to the moon. We may see 32,400, 33,000 levels again. Be cautious. I don't think so. That is going to happen soon. Now, on the downside, where to sell? Yes, you can sell here at 29,580 here itself 29,580 and below 29,580 you can expect 29,500 major support and then 29,400 the next support. If this zone is taken, if it drops below this zone, it will call for more bearishness then I will look forward to 29,200 and then below that 29,000. Breaking below which it will certainly remain bearish for the rest of the week. Then you can expect 28,600 and 28,500. Now this is going to be the next area of interest be below 30, 28,500. Certainly direct it will land till towards 28,000 and then further slide towards 27,600. Cannot be denied a strong jump but yes it can continue to slide till towards those levels as as we have seen, it can come back to the zone of consolidation at 26 to 28k where it may try to remain for a little while and hence it may try to achieve this zone soon so that the reversal can only bring it back to this consolidation level at the highs at around 28-29k. So possibility exists, be careful of 29-400 and the downside, be careful of 30,000 on the upside, any draw below 29,400, stay short for the rest of the month, you can expect a drop and a bounce back towards the end of the month, you have to be cautious with these positions, hence take your trades accordingly. Trade with a stop loss, trade with a tailing stop loss, do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment, join my mentorship by join my signals group, become a pattern and support the effort. Thank you very much, have a great profitable trading week ahead. Thank you.